the concept of i'tikaf, the concept of that spiritual seclusion, having that time alone with Allah. And what I learned from Ansay Sosan was so beautiful, this concept of the pressure cooker, <laughs> which is that we all, for anybody who's used a pressure cooker, Ansay would tell us that there is that valve that allows the steam to go out. And if you don't have the valve opened, what happens to the pressure cooker? It explodes. And I remember my own grandmother's kitchen. <laughs> there was this huge like, thing on the ceiling because once she had a pressure cooker that exploded, one of the old time ones. And she was terrified of it, would never use it again. And every time I would hear Ansa say the story, I would think to myself, yes, if you don't have the valve to let the steam out, you too will explode regardless of how good or not good things have been. Even good things cause you to be tired and fatigued. And that pressure cooker valve is the i'tikaf. It's the time you spend in isolation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you spend alone, that you beseech him and call to him and connect with him. We don't have that many people who do this because I know in every time we've been in that conference hall and we've talked about i'tikaf and I've asked a room full of women just as much as this room and more, how many of you have made i'tikaf in your life? Let's see. Yes, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. The, 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 <laughs> the hands are more because wallahi in years past, it would be one hand, two hand, three hand out of a hundred women. Now we're seeing mashallah more hands because this concept has become more well known that a woman, not just a man, should also be doing this atikaf, this kind of spiritual connectedness with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.